Good morning and happy Friday. I am sitting in my car about to head over to my office to get some work done today. Riley is parked behind me and um, he just ran in to grab his coffee so I'm just waiting on him <laughs> to move his truck. It was a rough night last night. I talked about in last night's vlog that I just this third trimester nausea has come back come forward I don't know what the right terminology is but it's here and um, last night I was just so so nauseous from the evening hours through th about 3 a.m. I woke up around 3 or 4 a.m. and I was feeling better um, and I was like I remember this exact same thing happening last time but I was just worried so I was googling and there are like literally hundreds of websites talking about how normal it is, how crowded your organs are, how crowded your stomach is, how changes in hormones affect it, and how normal third trimester nausea is. And I was like, okay, so everything's fine. It's just a part of pregnancy. Um, so anyway, I'm feeling okay this morning, a little drained, you know, after just feeling sick all night. I never got sick. I just feel sick. Um, so I haven't really eaten much in a while. Um, I didn't really eat dinner last night. I ate a little bit of that soup and sandwich, which was good. Um, kind of hard for me to eat, to be honest with you. The soup was easier to eat than the sandwich, but I knew I needed to eat something. I'm like, I've got to feel this little baby. Um, and so today I don't know how that's all going to go, but I do know I have a lot of work to do. So hopefully I feel fine all day today. Um, it is definitely like a no, as you can see, a no makeup day for me. I am just going up to my office alone to work for hours and hours on end. So it's not going to be, it's not a glamour day. My gaslight just came on. Before I had Nora, my gas light never came on because when I had a quarter of a tank left, I would always go get more gas. These days, the only time I ever get gas is when my gas light goes on. So it just went on. So on the way to work, I'm going to get some, get some gas fueled up in this car so I don't get stranded anywhere around town in the heat of the day. Um, and then I'm going to head up and get to work. Welcome to my Friday. All right, I made it to the gas station basically on fumes. <laughs> I'm going to fuel up this car. All right, so I did go pop by Starbucks. I didn't think I was hungry for anything. And then I was like, you know, actually, coffee and a muffin sounds really good. So this is the new iced apple crisp macchiato. Um, it's a part of their fall menu. And so it's some kind of caramel apple syrup. So I need to mix it up a little more. But um, a caramel macchiato is like my very favorite drink from Starbucks year-round and um so this sounded really good and then I just got a blueberry muffin so I'm gonna go ahead and answer some emails get my day going eat my breakfast and then get to work wow well that works y'all are a little precariously sitting up on top of a stack of garments that I am currently shipping out but I thought this would be a good chance for me to have a little midday check-in. Um, I was feeling well for most of the morning and the nausea has returned. Good times. Um, it's not, it's not awful. It's just not fun. <laughs> um, but I am packaging up a whole bunch of orders. I just can't, like, it's so cute. The pumpkin, the ghost, it's just so cute. It makes me so excited for fall. I'm really hoping that before this baby gets here, or I guess even after he's here, that we can go to some pumpkin patches. And um, Nora would love that. She is such an outdoorsy girl. She loves to be outside. She would think that was so fun to see, to be at a pumpkin patch and pick out a pumpkin or whatever. So maybe, we can do that, but actually it might be better, well, it depends on how I'm feeling. It might be better after he comes because the air will be crisper and it won't be 85,000 degrees <laughs> like it is today. Um, I really did like that carrot, that apple, I don't remember what it's called. Caramel apple spice macchiato or something. I liked it a lot. Um, it definitely has a good apple flavor, but it's not an overwhelming apple flavor. If you don't like apple-y 
it's kind of like an apple pie coffee situation. So if that doesn't sound good to you or you don't like apple pie, I would think that they would not be your favorite drink ever. But if you do like stuff like that, I think you would like it. I think you would like it. So I just got word from Riley that our embroidery guy who originally had said he could not work overtime this weekend, which is totally fine, um, he now he can. His weekend has changed, which is fantastic. But that means that I need to go up there this afternoon, it's one o'clock now, and sort garments for him to embroider, or I need to um, go up there tomorrow morning before he gets into the office to, I don't know if I need a bigger bed than that. Before he gets into the office to sew, I need to make sure that I have gone up there and gotten everything sorted. Last week, I went up on Saturday morning before he came in, and two weeks ago, I went up on Friday night, so we'll see. It will depend on how I'm feeling, because if I'm feeling how I feel now, I'm probably not going to be stretching out my work day much, too much longer. It's just, it feels, ex I feel exactly how, like how I did when I had morning sickness. Exactly, exactly the same. It's just exhausting. Um, so, we'll see. I went on to... My um, birth center has a private Facebook group for all the moms who have given birth at that birth center. And um, it's such a great, it's like a treasure trove of information and resources and all this kind of stuff. And um, I went on there and searched in the group third trimester nausea. And there was like so much, <laughs> so many posts, so many other women who have had the same issue. And I even found where I commented in 2019 when I was big and pregnant with Nora saying that I was super, super nauseous. And I'm like, I, 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 I just, I just, I don't know why this has blindsided me so much. It happened last time. I know it can happen. I just am, it's not like a little queasy. It's like full blown, the feeling of morning sickness coming on and off during the day. And it's a lot, but we're getting there, you know, day by day. 35 weeks today, so in two more weeks, I'm considered full term. Two more weeks, that will go by very fast. I just got home. Our bed is definitely not made, just <laughs> like, talk about pregnancy. We have Tums on the nightstand, <laughs> it's just a mess. Riley surprised me with this. I have never had a pregnancy pillow for either pregnancy. They always just seemed so cumbersome and maybe even unnecessary to me, so I never got one. But I have struggled so much lately that <laughs> I came home and Riley said, I got you something, and so he's been letting it unfurl a little bit here. I guess it takes a full 48 hours, but it looks so comfy. I am really looking forward to it. Thank you for surprising me with a pregnancy pillow. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you like it. I think I'm gonna love it. I made homemade chocolate chip cookies, which I showed actually. They're so good. Not to toot my own horn, but you know, toot toot. And I'm heating up some chicken and star soup again. Well, Riley heated it up yesterday. I'm heating up another can of it because the only thing I've eaten so far today is that blueberry muffin and I'm, I can feel that I'm really hungry even though nothing sounds that good. So we're gonna see. Maybe some of this with some saltines and like some Gatorade. Throwback to first trimester life. Oh, look what we just got in the mail. This was a gift that just got mailed to us from longtime family friends of my family. My dad's best man in his wedding and in my mom's wedding together, and um, longtime best friends, and then they mailed this to us. That was such a sweet surprise. Look how cute this book is. Let me open it up. Oh, this card is so sweet. And this is a cute book. This is perfect for his nursery. Oh, and then there's a sweet note. We actually are so close with this sweet family that we call them 
aunt and uncle, even though they're not blood aunt and uncle. This is a precious book. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you all so much, Uncle Dave and Aunt Karen and Laura and Christopher. We appreciate your thoughtfulness so much. This is so sweet. I'm going to go put it right in Colin's nursery. How sweet. Oh my gosh, there it goes, right? Oh, Norny. Right on Colin's bookshelves. All right, now I'm going to go t tend to Nora. Something's upset her very, very much. I am up at Riley's studio right now. I mentioned earlier that our embroidery guy ultimately was going to be able to um, to work this um, Saturday, to work tomorrow. And I thought he was going to come in to start sewing around 10. That's kind of normal for him. And I just found out that it's actually 8. AM. So I'm back up here. <laughs> it's 645. I'm really tired, but I've got to get this done because he's coming at 8 AM to get everything sewn. Let me stay away from the vent because it gets really, really loud. Um, Nora was so upset right before I left because Riley had told her that they were going to go feed the ducks and she could not find her shoes. So big toddler problems. We found her shoes. I put them on her. And she and Riley are off feeding ducks at the park, which they've done every Friday this August. And it's been like their, their little thing to do together. It's really sweet. So they're off having a grand old time. I'm a hot mess. I just took a nap. Um, I got home from work and then um, ate some of that chicken and star soup, which did help settle my stomach a little bit. And at least I got something in my system. And I drank some Gatorade. And then I fell asleep on the couch and actually Nora came over and she pet my cheek and said, night night, night night. It was so sweet. Um, so I got like a solid hour nap, which I will take it. And now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to get this done, hopefully get this done quickly. I don't think I have too many. Right now I'm seeing four boxes, um, which is not so bad. So I'm going to just get cracking and just get my work done so that I can go home and try out that new pregnancy support pillow because that thing looks amazing. it's been about an hour an hour and 15 minutes or so and I just finished sorting everything for tomorrow I have a suspicion that I have some more garments tucked away in one of those boxes but I'm just gonna wait until Monday to see if I do um, because they would be mixed in in those particular boxes with a couple of Riley's recent orders so I need to figure that out. But um, Riley just sent me a couple of videos of Nora out at the park. They're having such a great time. And um, I'm so glad because she'll sleep so well tonight and she's so happy. It's so good for her to get outside and especially in the evening when it's not so darn hot and she can actually be outside for a longer period of time. I am just exhausted. My body is exhausted. I'm just going to make a bet right now. I bet this baby is coming much closer to his due date than Nora did. Nora went like a week and a half plus past her due date. I would not be surprised if this baby came before his due date, on his due date, or like a couple of days after. I cannot imagine going a week and a half plus past my due date with this one because I just feel so pregnant right now at 35 weeks. I did not feel like this with Nora until 38, 39 weeks. I can't imagine going another seven weeks. I can't imagine. We're going to take it day by day. He just feels so low. There's so much pressure. I feel, I'm just, by the end of the day, I'm like wiped. 
and um, obviously as I've been talking about constantly for the past couple of days I'm so nauseous and this was all like late 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 pregnancy for me last time not 35 weeks so maybe that means he'll get to be in our arms a little sooner cross my fingers I would love that I'm gonna head home I'm sure Riley and Nora are probably on their way home here in the next few minutes because it's about what time is it it's a little like 7 57 a few minutes until 8 which usually goes down between 8 and 8 30 so I would imagine they are on their way home I'll meet them there and it will be bedtime for everyone I just returned back home and Riley just texted me to say that they are on their way as well I can't wait to hear all about their little duck adventures it's so cute that they have that Friday night tradition I love it so much I am gonna get ready for bed and put Nora down and then I'm going down too. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.